Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn top five Google generative AI automations with Pabli Connect for your business. In this video, we're going to discuss some amazing automations that you can create with Pabli Connect and Google generative AI. So what is Google generative AI? Google generative AI is an advanced artificial intelligence tool that is developed by Google, which will help businesses to generate content according to their requirements. The competitors of Google generative AI is perplexity or chat GPT and other AI tools. So the automations that we are going to discuss in this video is that how you can generate content according to your requirements using Google Generative AI, how to auto reply to all of your YouTube comments and how you can create a chatbot using Google Generative AI and Pabli Connect and more. So if you want to learn these amazing automations then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn top five Google Generative AI automations for your business with Pabli Connect. So in this video, you're going to learn some amazing top five automations that you can create with the help of Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI, okay? So now first, let's talk about Google Generative AI. It is an advanced artificial intelligence model developed by Google that are capable of generating content such as image, text based on given inputs. It is very useful for business growth because it helps the business to generate content according to their business requirements. It also enhances customer engagement by creating AI driven bots. Also you can use Google Generative AI for the product design, data analysis and many more. Okay. And competitor of Google Generative AI is OpenAI and many other applications. So this is what Google Generative AI is and in this video we are going to learn some amazing automations that you can create for Google Generative AI with the help of Pabli Connect. Okay, so on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. So if you are going to create a workflow, for that click on the top right corner button that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear. Over here it will ask for the workflow name. So you can give a workflow name right over here. And next for the folder, you have to select the folder from the left side of our screen. You can create a folder by clicking on this plus button. Okay. And from these options, you can select a specific folder in which you want to save this workflow in and then click on Create in order to create a workflow. Okay. In this video, we are going to learn about such amazing automations that you can create with the help of Pabli Connect for Google Generative AI, okay? So let's discuss these amazing automations. First, what we are going to discuss about is that how you can create social media posts using Google Generative AI. So now you're a business owner and you post content related to your business on different social media platforms, okay? And you want to generate content with the help of Google Generative AI to post them on different social media platforms. So for that, we are creating this amazing automation, okay? And how it works is, let's discuss about it, okay? On the screen, you can see there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps, okay? Now let's discuss about this workflow right away and firstly we're going to discuss about our trigger step okay so we have already set up our trigger step over here firstly we have to choose the trigger application and the event for the application we have selected it as google sheets and for the event as new or updated spreadsheet okay so i've created a spreadsheet in my google sheets in which i have collected the data of the content that i want to generate with the help of google generative ai okay so for the trigger application i've selected as google sheets and the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row because as soon as i'm going to enter the data that i want to generate content of in my Google Sheets automatically public Edit should capture the response then we have connected Google Sheets with public Edit with the help of this unique webbook URL after connecting over here you can see as we are going to enter the data in our Google Sheets our response is going to be captured in the response you receive the title of the post that we want to generate the content of as well as the image of the post that we want to upload on our different social media platforms okay so this is the response right over here okay in the response as we have received the response of whatever we have entered in our Google Sheets 
So as we have received the response, that means Google Sheets is now successfully connected to Pabli Connect as a trigger setup is done. So now whenever you're going to enter the data in a Google Sheets, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response, okay? As we have received the response, we want to generate a content according to the response. For that, we have set up our action step and for the action application, we have selected it as Google Generative AI and for the action event as Generate Content. As we now want to generate a content on the topic that we have received in the response of our previous step, okay? As we have connected Google Generative AI with public connect to generate the content firstly where it is asking for the text the text is the input that we want to generate the content for okay this is the prompt that we need to enter okay for the text over here we written it as write a caption in 80 words on the topic and the topic is been mapped over here from our previous step now so now what the question is going to arise what is mapping mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we have inserted the data from the previous step how mapping works is that as soon as you click on this field this was the previous step as soon as you click on this arrow this was the response from our previous step and this data is mapped right over here okay so you can see the post title that is the tasty cakes at bakery this is the data that is mapped from our previous step okay as we have mapped the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right away in place of this map data is going to be updated okay so this is the prompt right away that is we need to generate a caption of 80 works on this topic right away and the data is mapped so the, this is the prompt right away okay for the models we need to select it as model slash gemini pro and for the method we have selected as generate content as we want to generate the content for this prompt right over here okay then we have received the response and the response you can see over here we have received the caption as you can see this is the caption right over here this is the content that has been created with the help of google generative ai for the prompt that we needed to generate the content for okay so as now we have generated the content now what we want to do is we want to create a post on our different social media handles so over here we have next set up our action step and for the action application we have selected it as facebook pages and for the action event as create page photo post as now we are going to upload a photo on our facebook page that is going to be our business page okay the business account in our facebook okay for the page over i have selected as more than bakery because this is the name of my business that is more than bakery and i post content on this page right over here related to my business for the photo url we map the photo url from our previous step as we have entered the url of our content in our google sheet so i map the data and for the description i've in entered the content that was generated with the help of google generative ai okay so this is the description right over here and as soon as i'm going to click on save and send test request over here response is going to be received and this response is a positive response that means a new post has been posted on our facebook page okay with the content that was generated with the help of Google Generative AI. So firstly, we have posted the photo on our Facebook page. But now, we also want to publish the photo on our Instagram page as well. I have an Instagram page for my business and I post content related to my business on my Instagram page as well. Okay, So that is why for the action application, I have selected it as Instagram for business and for the action event as publish photo because now we are going to publish a content in our Instagram page as well. Firstly, we need to select our Instagram account on which we want to post the content in after selecting the account right over here we have to map the data of the url this was the response from our previous step from our google sheets as we have entered the image url in our google sheets and for the caption we have mapped the data of the content that was generated with the help of google generative ai then we have clicked on save and send test request and over here we have received the response that is a positive response that means a content has now been also posted on my instagram account as well so this is how you create social media posts using google generative ai and pabli connect in which you can automatically generate content using google generative ai for you to post content on your different social media platforms so, so this was the first amazing automation that you can create with the help of public connect and google generative ai okay so now let's discuss about our second automation that is generate content using google generative ai for webbook response so now you're using an application which is not integrated with public connect okay and to create the integration you have used webbook by Pabli with the help of which you can connect public connect with the application which is not integrated okay so we have connected the application with the help of webbook by pabli as we selected our trigger application as webbook by pabli and the trigger event as catch webbook preferred so this is the trigger application and the event and with the help of webbook url we have connected the application with pabli connect okay and as i've selected the application as pabli form builder in, in order to connect pabli connect with pabli form builder actually pabli form builder is integrated with pabli connect but for example we have taken this application okay and over here in the response we have received a new form submission that was done by my customers over here you can see we have received the data of our customer the first name as smart last name as dummy email as smart dummy at the rate pabli this is the 
रिस्पॉन्स फॉर द रेटिंग ऑफ माई बिजनेस फॉर द रेटिंग ओवर हेड सीज फोर फॉर द रिमार्क द रिमार्क इज रिटर्न ओवर है बाई माई कस्टमर एज यू कैन सी फॉर माई बिजनेस दैट इज आउटस्टैंडिंग सर्विस डिलीवरी ऑन टाइम रिस्पॉन्सिबल प्राइजिंग एंड ऑल दी अदर डिटेल सो दिस वॉज द रिस्पॉन्स दैट वॉज कैप्चर्ड बाई पैब्लिक कनेक्ट फॉर द न्यू फॉर्म सबमिशन डन बाय माई कस्टमर दैट मीन्स एस एस फुली कनेक्टेड द एप्लीकेशन दैट वॉज नॉट इंटीग्रेटेड विद पैब्लिक कनेक्ट विद वेब बुक बाई पैब्ली एंड आर ट्रिगर सेटअप इज डन ना एज वी हैव रिसीव द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स इन आर ट्रिगर सेप वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू इज वी वॉन्ट टू जनरेट अ कॉन्टेंट फॉर दैट रिस्पॉन्स फॉर दैट वी हैव यूज गूगल जनरेटिव ए आई सो फॉर द एक्शन एप्लीकेशन इफ सिलेक्टेड इट एज गूगल जनरेटिव ए एंड फॉर द एक्शन इवेंट एज जनरेट कॉन्टेंट एज वी वॉन्ट टू जनरेट द कॉन्टेंट फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स दैट वी हैव रिसीव द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स ओके फॉर द टेक्स्ट द प्रॉम्प्ट आई रिटर्न अ प्रॉम्प्ट एज आई एम एन ओनर ऑफ अ बिजनेस आई एम कलेक्टिंग कस्टमर फीडबैक फॉर माई बिजनेस इन हेल्प ऑफ फॉर्म सबमिशन एंड द सबमिशन इज डन बाय द नेम ऑफ माई कस्टमर दैट इज स्मार्ट डमी आई मैप द नेम ऑफ द कस्टमर राइट वे इन विच आई गॉट द सर्विस रेटिंग आउट ऑफ फाइव एज आई हैव गिवन अ रेटिंग दैट वॉज डन बाय माई कस्टमर दैट इज आउट ऑफ फाइव एज फो द रिमार्क ओवर हेयर द रिमार्क ऑफ माई कस्टमर सो आई वॉन्ट द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस फीडबैक ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन सो आई वॉन्ट द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस फीडबैक दैट वॉज डन बाय माई कस्टमर सो आई रिटर्न द प्रॉम्प्ट फॉर द मॉडल आई सेलेक्टेड एज मॉडल स्लैश जेमन आई प्रो फॉर द मेथड एज जनरेट कॉन्टेंट एज आई वॉन्ट टू जनरेट द कॉन्टेंट फॉर दिस प्रॉम्प्ट ओके एंड वी हैव रिसीव द रिस्पॉन्स एंड द प्रॉम्प्ट वी हैव रिसीव द रिस्पॉन्स यू कैन सी दैट दिस द रिस्पॉन्स राइट ओवर विद द कंक्लूजन ऑफ माई फीडबैक राइट ओवर इट्स द कस्टमर इज हाईली सेटिस्फाइड विद द बिजनेस सर्विसेज पर्टिकुलरली द क्वालिटी ऑफ द सर्विस प्रॉम्प्टसली इन डिलीवरी एंड वैल्यू ऑफ द मनी द फीडबैक इंडिकेट्स दैट द बिजनेस इज मीटिंग और एक्सीडिंग कस्टमर एक्सपेक्टेशन एज इन डिलीवरिंग अ पॉजिटिव एक्सपीरियंस सो यू कैन सी दैट ओवर हेयर कॉन्टेंट इज नाउ बीन क्रिएटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ गूगल जनरेटिव ए आई फॉर द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स ओके एंड ऑल दी अदर डिटेल्स नाउ एज द कॉन्टेंट इज जनरेटेड नाउ वट आई वॉन्ट इज आई वॉन्ट टू एंटर द डेटा ऑफ माई रिस्पॉन्स एज वेल एज द कॉन्टेंट इन माई गूगल शीट्स फॉर दैट आई सेट अप दिस एक्शन स्टेप एंड फॉर द एक्शन एप्लीकेशन आई सिलेक्टेड इट एज गूगल शीट्स एंड फॉर द एक्शन इवेंट एज एड न्यूरो बिकॉज नाउ वी गुड टू एड अ न्यूरो ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स दैट वी हैव रिसीव द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स एज वेल एज द कॉन्टेंट दट इज जनरेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ गूगल जनरेटिव ए आई फॉर द स्प्रेड शीट आई क्रिएटेड अ स्प्रेड शीट इन विच आई वॉन्ट टू कलेक्ट दिस डेटा सो आई एम गुड टू सिलेक्ट द स्प्रेड शीट फॉर द शीट आई एम गुड टू सिलेक्ट द शीट and these are the fields that i've created in my spreadsheet that is first name last name email phone number rating remark and the summary and i map the data according to the field requirements right over here and then i've clicked on save and send test request and after that we have received a response which is a positive response so this means that the data has now been successfully transferred into our spreadsheet as well so this was the amazing automation that you can create with pabli connect and google generative ai so that whenever you're going to receive a new webbook response that is with the help of webbook by pabli automatically a content is going to To be generated for that webbook response, and then you can create a record of that webbook response as well as Google Generative AI content generated in your Google Sheets. So this is the amazing second automation. Now we go to discuss about our next automation that is auto reply to YouTube comments using Google Generative AI. So now you are a content creator. You are creating content related to your business and posting it on your YouTube channel. Okay. Now as you have posted the video, what you want is now that as soon as you go to post the video, people are going to watch the video. Okay, and you are going to receive new comments related to any questions, giving you any advices, or there can be many things. Okay, there can be any comment by your viewers. Okay, so now you want to auto reply to all of your comments that are been on your video by any of your viewers. Okay, for that, this is this amazing automation that you can create with Pabli Connect and Google Generative AI. So now let's discuss about this amazing workflow. For the trigger application in this workflow, I've taken it as YouTube, and for the trigger event as new comment on a video. Okay, so we are going to take a specific. video in which we want to reply to all the comments okay for the channel over here we going to select our youtube channel on which we are posting the video and for the video we have to select a specific video in which we want to reply to all of our viewers comments okay so we going to select the channel and the video right over here and then we going to click on save and send test request and as we going to do that over here you going to receive a response okay and a response you going to receive you can see over here this is the comment that has been posted by our viewer that is wonderful so this is the comment that our viewer has posted with the date of when the comment was done and all the the details of our youtube channel so as you go to receive the response this means that youtube has now been successfully connected to pabli connect and whenever a new comment is going to be done by any of your viewers on your youtube video the video you have selected in this trigger step automatically pabli connect is going to capture the response but if you are not going to get the response immediately then do not worry as youtube is a pulling based application you can see over here it says 10 minutes that means in every 10 minutes whenever a new data is going to be collected by youtube it is going to send a new data to pabli connect in every 10 
10 minutes okay so if you're not going to get the response immediately then do not worry okay and if you want to make any changes in this polling duration then you can contact us on pably forum so now whenever a new comment is going to be posted on your video it is going to be captured in our trigger step right over here now we have to create a reply to that comment that has been posted by our viewer to our video and now to generate the reply to that comment we are going to be using google generative ai and we are going to set up our action step for the action application you have taken it as google generative ai and for the action event as generate content okay then for the text over we have entered the prompt in which we want to generate the content with the help of google generative ai let's talk about the prompt it says I have a YouTube channel on which I post videos related to natural resources and beauty of nature. So this is the prompt right over here. It says, please respond to the following YouTube comment in a friendly and engaging manner, addressing any questions or feedbacks and encouraging further interaction on my email. The email is over here. That is nature edits at the rate pablitudes.com. Okay. So the email and the comment is for the comment. We have mapped the date of the comment that we have received in our previous step. So this is a prompt that I want to generate the content for, for the models. So we have selected it as model slash Gemini 1.0 Pro latest. So this is a model that I've selected and for the methods as we have selected as generate content as we want to generate the content for this comment right over here. Then for the response, we have received the response over here and the response says, thank you for your wonderful comment. I'm so glad you enjoyed the video. I'm passionate about sharing the beauty and importance of nature and it means a lot to me to know that my videos are resonating with others. Okay, so this is the content that has been generated with the help of Google Generative AI. Now as the content is generated now we want to reply back to our comment that has been done by our viewer on our video so now we're going to set up our action step for the action application as youtube for the action event as reply to comment okay now we're going to reply to the comment that was done by our viewer for the reply text we have replied the content that was generated with the help of google generative ai we have mapped the data of the content and for the comment id we map the data of the comment id from our previous step as we have received the comment id from our previous step okay so we map the data okay after that we have clicked on save and send test requests over here in the response we have received a response which is a positive response that means a reply has been done to the comment that was done by our viewer okay so this is how we create this amazing automation with public connect to auto reply to all of your youtube comments that are done by a viewer on your video with the help of google generative AI. so this is how you create this amazing automation now let's move on to our next automation and we are going to discuss about how you can generate 100 percent unique articles using google generative ai okay so you are a business owner and you want to generate content for your business and the content should be 100 percent unique okay and for generating the articles you have created a spreadsheet in which you are going to enter the data of the title for which you are going to generate the articles for you want that as soon as you're going to enter the title of the content that you want to generate automatically with the help of the title and google generative ai an article a hundred percent unique article should be generated and as the article is going to be generated with the help of google generative ai automatically the article should be updated in this spreadsheet that we have created okay so now let's discuss about this topic let's discuss about this workflow for the trigger application have selected as google sheets and the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row as we have created the spreadsheet with the help of google Google sheets in which we are going to enter the data of the title for which we want to generate unique articles for okay so as i've created the spreadsheet you have connected the spreadsheet with the help of this web book url and we have received a response over here from our spreadsheet okay and we have received in the response the article topic that is technology a threat or a friend okay so this is the title for which i want to generate the content for okay you can see this is the title and as we have received the response that means google sheets is now successfully connected to public connect so now whenever you're going to enter any new title in your spreadsheet automatically public and it is going to capture the response now we have set up our action step as we want to now generate a content for the title that we have received in our previous response we're going to set up our action step for the action application we've taken it as google generative and for the action event as generate content as we want to generate the content of the article topic that we have received in our previous step for the text we have written a prompt that is write a unique article on the topic for the topic we have mapped the date of the topic that we have to generate the unique article for for the models we have selected as gemini pro and for the methods are generate content as we want to generate the content for this prompt and then we have clicked on save and send test request in which we have received a response and the response we have received an article on the topic that we have entered in our google sheets 
Now, as you can see that we have received the article successfully. So now what we are going to do is we have to now update our spreadsheet. For that, we have added another action step for the action application. We have taken it as Google Sheets and for the action event as update style value as we want to now enter the content next to our article that we have written. Okay. For the spreadsheet over here, we have selected the spreadsheet that we have created for the sheet as the sheet one because we have created a sheet, created a single sheet. Okay. Next for the range over here, we have taken it as the range over here. This is the range of my Google Sheets right away in which I want to update this value right away okay for the value i've entered the content that was generated with the help of google generative ai and then as i've clicked on save and send test request over here we're going to receive a response which indicates that now the spreadsheet has successfully been updated with the content that was generated with google generative ai so this is how you generate 100 percent unique articles with the help of google generative ai and Pabli connect okay so this was this amazing workflow now let's move on to our last workflow of this video that is create chatbot using Pabli connect and google generative ai in this workflow we're going to discuss about how you can create whatsapp cloud api chatbot using google generative ai and public connect okay so, so now suppose you have a business and your employees continuously ask you a question related to the business and it takes you a lot of time to reply to each one of them so suppose you have a big team and everyone is asking a question so it takes you a lot of time to reply to each one of them okay and sometimes you also miss to reply to any of your employees okay for that you have created a chatbot a whatsapp cloud api chatbot using pabdi connect and google generative ai so now any of your employees are going to have any question they can ask the question to chatbot directly and the chatbot is going to generate the content with the help of google generative ai and reply back to the question that was asked by our employee okay so for that we have created this amazing workflow so now quickly we need to discuss this workflow okay for the trigger application i've selected it as whatsapp cloud api and for the trigger event as new message notification as we're going to receive a new message by any of our employees automatically public connect should capture the response and to connect whatsapp cloud api with public connect you can see public connect has provided us with the web book url by clicking on this hyperlink you will be landed towards a page in which you have to follow the steps given here below in order to connect this web book url and whatsapp cloud api so that whenever a new message is forwarded by any of your employees to whatsapp cloud api bot automatically public connect is going to capture the response and as we have captured the response over here you can see the employees ask what is public connect this is the question that is asked by our employee and public connect has now captured the response of the question okay now as the question has been now captured as a response now we want to generate the content for that question for that we've set up our action step for the action application we've selected it as google generative ai and for the action event as generate content as now we are going to generate the content for the question okay for the text i've written a prompt over here and which is going to help us to generate a content related to the question which says i'm an owner of a business and i'm creating a whatsapp chatbot and i want to generate replies to the question that my employees will be asking to chatbot so please generate a reply to the question for the question i map the data of the question in small paragraph so this is the prompt for the model we have selected the model and for the method as generate content then we have received a response in which we have received the content that has been generated by google generative ai to the question that was asked by our employee okay as now the content is successfully generated with the help of Google Generative AI, now we want to reply back to our employee with the help of the chatbot. For that, we have set up our action step and for the action application, we have selected it as WhatsApp Cloud API and for the action event as send text message because now we go to reply to our employee back, okay? For the recipient mobile number, we have mapped the data of the mobile number that we have received in our previous step and for the message, I have mapped the data of the content that was generated by our Google Generative AI. And as we have done that, over here, as we go to click on save and send test request, a response is going to be received in which it says that our response has now been successfully sent back to our employee's question. So this is how you set up this amazing automation and you can create a chatbot a whatsapp cloud api chatbot using google generative ai and Pabli connect so these were these amazing top five amazing automations that you can create with Pabli connect and google generative ai to enhance your business productivity okay so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.